What is good, my people? Welcome back to another Beast Talks video. Look, today I feel like shit. I didn't feel like recording. Fucking got this sinus stuff going on, drainage or whatever the fuck they call it. I don't know. I feel like shit, but we're still going to record the video because we don't miss. So that's what we're going to make it about today. Discipline, showing up. The first thing I want to say is anything that's not growing is dead. Okay, so if you're in the process of doing something and you quit, it's dead immediately. If you're in the process of starting a business and it's not making a bunch of money or it's not growing, it's starting to become dead. So then you have to put things in play. You have to do some extra work in some area to where you're going to see growth. The only thing that you can do is control what you can control. And one of the main things that we can control is being disciplined, being consistent, showing up for ourselves, validating ourselves, you know, approving of ourselves to be able to be the best version of ourselves. Because if we can't do that for ourselves, why would we expect other people to do it? If we can't show up, why would we expect other people to show up? If we can't lead from the front, how are we going to be creating leaders? Nobody gets to do that if they're not the living example. It pisses me off so bad to see people in certain situations, yet they want to quit. You know, they get a cold like me. They don't want to hit the gym. They don't want to post, right? People, some, something happens in their family. They don't want to hit the gym. They don't want to post. They don't want to work. It's like, dude, you have a decision that you need to make. A lifetime decision. And if you commit to your purpose, you're going to do whatever it takes to get it done. Most people can't commit to their purpose because they know it's hard work behind it. They know that there's some dedication, there's some commitment behind it. They know that there's a reason that they have to show up every day. And a lot of people are scared of that. I'm not scared to show up every day. I'm not scared to put it on the line. I'm not scared to be embarrassed. I'm not scared to fail. I'm not scared to feel, feel stupid when I'm speaking. I'm not scared to look stupid. You know why? Because this is my purpose. And as time goes on, I'm going to grow because anything that isn't growing is dead. I'm a winner. Excuse me. I'm a winner. So what winners do is we show up and we play as hard as possible. We work as hard as possible. And guess what? Practice doesn't make perfect. It never has. But practice makes better. It does. It makes better. So if you're not working on your craft every day, how do you expect to be the best at it? And most people will sit here and say, oh, man, I was just born with this talent. I'm just going, I'm going to do this, do this. I see it so many times with football players, talented, fast, you know, genetically strong. But then they get to college, it's like, now you're meeting that same talent. Now it's about who works harder. Who puts in the more time in the weight room? Who's who's doing the extra footwork? Who's outside working with their coach longer? Who's really studying the game? Like, I'm just using football as an example, but it's like, dude, you may be blessed in an area, but if you don't take advantage of it and work hard and stay disciplined and consistent, you're going to fucking fail. It does not matter. You're going to fucking fail because there's somebody out there that's willing to do the work that you're not willing to do. And it hurts. It hurts. You know, being disciplined hurts, bro. It hurts. It fucking hurts. Because you have to show up on days you do not feel like it, days you feel like it, days you don't even know what the fuck's going on in your life, and yet you're still there showing up. But that means something to me. That means something to me. Because if I can do something every single day that I know no one else in the world can do, I'm fucking growing. I'm learning shit that others don't fucking know. And I'm being above average. I'm not in the best fucking mood today. I'm not in the happiest mood today. But did I show up? Hell yeah. I showed up for my people because I know my purpose is to spread God's message. And he's telling y'all right now, stay disciplined. Don't give up on a dream. And most people, right, they give up right before their blessing. If you give up right before your blessing, bro, that's a bad feeling. That's a bad feeling. And what's crazy is you feel it in your heart when you're about to be blessed, bro. I know for me, I feel it in my heart when I'm about to be blessed. And if you quit right before that, it's like, bro, that sucks. That sucks because you don't know the doors that God is about to open for you. You don't understand that God is about to put you in a place, in an area where you have no choice but to go up. You have no choice but to go up. And guess what? Winners never quit. Quitters never win. That's why I love saying that quote, because if you quit, you're never going to win. There's a hundred percent chance you're never going to, like, you're not going to win hundred percent chance. But if you keep going, bro, if you keep going, there's a fucking massive chance that you're going to see success, that you're going to be the man that you've always needed, that you're going to see a different version of yourself. You're going to see a higher level of yourself. You're just going to be like, fuck, nothing can stop me. And like, 
today I've been operating from a low frequency. I woke up feeling sick, body sore, didn't get really uh, any rest because I can't fucking breathe through my nose. But did I do what I needed to do? Yes. Am I shooting my YouTube video? Yes. Am I shooting my short form content? Yes. Did I get my workout in? Yes. Did I record my workout? Yes. Am I talking to my story? Yes. Do I have calls today that I'm going to take? Yes. I have no choice but to feel better about myself because I didn't miss. No choice. But if I would have stayed in bed, took some medicine, fell asleep, said, oh, I just need some rest. I would have felt like a fucking L. Oh, you're just going to give up today, you dumb bitch, because you felt a little sick? Don't even participate in sickness anymore, dude. Don't even. Don't even acknowledge it anymore. Fuck it. Because at this point, at this point, it's going to slow you down. Being sick. Anything. And don't let anything slow you down. Don't let anything slow you down, bro. Don't. Because when you're flowing high and everything's going good, there's always going to be a negative. But who can take the negatives? Who can take the pressure? Who can take the bad things happening to them? We'll see. We'll see. Because certain people just won't quit. And I just won't quit. I've been doing this shit for months. Like, every day, months. I'm not talking about YouTube videos. I'm talking about starting my online coaching business. And then I've been posting videos for like a couple years. I have not quit. I have not quit. I see so many people post online. They quit. They quit. Because they're not getting the money that they want. They're not getting the views or the likes or attention that they want. I don't have, I don't even have 500 fucking followers on YouTube. And I still post damn near five, six times a week on YouTube. Because I won't quit. I will not fucking quit. And I will critique myself every time. I will work on myself every time. I will read that book. I will go to the gym until I lose that weight. I will fucking go to the gym until I get that vein. I will pay for that mentor until my business makes a certain amount of money. I will do it because I believe in myself. That's all it is. Discipline is simply believing in your motherfucking self. That's why I tell people, have faith, stay consistent, stay disciplined. And nobody can take that shit away from you, bruh. It makes me sick to my stomach to see kids out here just giving up because they get on TikTok, Instagram. They see all these fucking streamers and all this other shit. And these people that are making fucking shitloads of money off being stupid. And and yes, I don't give a fuck if they make money off being stupid. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm just saying these kids are giving up because they think it's that easy. And it's not. They think it's just, oh, I'm going to get online, post, make a million dollars. No, you work. You give it all you got. And then God's going to bless you, man. If you need help with self-development, click the link down below. We never miss, and you know it's love.